Hello and happy Manga Monday. We are in mourning for the series that have been dropped. <laughs> the series that are dead to me. No, I'm just kidding. But we are talking about <laughs> series that I have dropped again for one reason or another which i'll be getting into and since these are dark series you know we're talking psychological thriller we're talking horror um then yeah i just i thought i would uh go all out in the black i guess um I don't know, there's dandelions here, so we're not really super dark with it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I have limited time to film, so let's just jump right in with the first and only title that I actually do still own. So I own it. I do. I, there is a part of me that really does want to finish this series. This is probably the most popular series on this list. So, you know, if you have any thoughts on me dropping it, let me know down below. But hear me out on why I did. And I was just too lazy to actually get the physical volume. So <laughs> that is Death Note. Yes, Ms. Manga dropped Death Note. But... There is a good reason that I did, at least in my opinion, it, uh, it makes sense. I'll get to it. But this is a series that follows our main protagonist, Light Yagami, is a young high schooler and he's very, very intelligent. And one day he finds a mysterious black notebook called the Death Note. And he finds out that the Death Note has some supernatural powers and if you write the name of someone you wish to end the life of it will come true you can also do things like specify when you want that person to go or how you want that person to go uh very interesting i love 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 the premise and the death note also comes with your very own shinigami a god of death this one comes with ryuk and he is one of my favorite characters i love ryuk he's creepy in all the right ways and uh just unhinged enough um so it's light honestly he's an interesting protagonist very morally gray and i love it and then as we get into the story he starts uh using his warped sense of justice to decide who lives and who dies right we get introduced to l this equally genius boy who is working as a like private detective already even though he's like the same age as Kara like a high schooler age maybe a little older I don't really remember but he's young he's young and he's a genius as well and so there starts this cat and mouse dichotomy between them and uh yeah like I'm talking it up because it's actually really good so you might be sitting there scratching your head like well then why the frick would you drop it it's not maybe for the reason that you think it is for <laughs> But I say all that to say, this is a really interesting shonen. I think it's really good of what I read. I think it's very good. How it ends, how I feel about it in general, I have yet to, to know for sure. Um, but that being said, I would recommend it as a shonen if you, if you liked the premise, if you think it's interesting, like I found it, um, to be very interesting. It's definitely more of a substantial dialogue heavy series you know we're talking psychological thriller we're talking mind games cat and mouse detective um versus killer essentially <laughs> uh but yeah it's it's really interesting um and to tell you why i dropped the series i'm gonna have to do a spoilers because it's very big spoilers <laughs> So if you haven't read Death Note and you're interested and you might pick it up at some point, definitely skip to this timestamp. Do not listen. Do not be spoiled because I will tell you that is the reason that I dropped it. And if you're watching this, my cousin, <laughs> I am still annoyed about it. So I got this box set of Death Note for, I don't know if it was a Christmas. I think it was a Christmas or a birthday gift. I usually ask for like a box set for one or the other or, or both. Um, I can't remember. It was at least seven-ish years ago. 
So I got it. I started reading it and I was telling her because I knew she had also read it that I had started reading it and I was really enjoying it. I was telling her how I enjoyed Elle. And she's like, yeah, sad when he dies though, isn't it? Oh, oh, he does. He dies, does he? Thank you for the spoiler. <laughs> ah! That was my favorite character. And you're, and you're going to spoil that he dies. Like, I want to fucking read the book anymore. Like, I'm angry just thinking about it because I have never been spoiled that hard, <laughs> like, by someone I know. So I'm so mad about it. <sighs> I got, I got, I got to give her a piece of my mind again because I don't think she watches my videos. But anyway, <sighs> man, it just hurt. It hurt to know in advance a character that was my favorite character was going to be offed and that some other, like, had you know detective or some other person as i find out uh will then take his mantle essentially like they replace him like what why i don't know maybe i would have kept reading to find out what would happen but i was spoiled and so i there's just uh, it just makes me too angry i cannot get back into death note i did even try to like switch tactics and watch the anime because i had never watched the anime um growing up i just it, it missed me it didn't intrigue me at the time i don't know what it for whatever reason anyway i didn't watch it growing up so i it was on netflix so i also tried to watch it and I got to around the same damn place and for whatever reason, I just lost interest. I didn't even get to the point where Elle dies. I didn't. So yeah, if you watched this and you didn't heed my spoiler warning, now you have been fully spoiled as I was so many moons ago and it still hurts. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm over it. It's fine, we're moving on. <laughs> I tell you though, it stings. Like uh, being spoiled is the worst. And a lot of it is on the internet, just goobers, you know, sharing things from, from manga or anime. And I unknowingly and unwittingly like click on it. But this one was a face to face, like, I didn't tell you where I was in the story, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, please don't spoil things for other people. I try really, really hard in these videos to not go into any spoiler territories and just tell you the general gist um if i ever do spoil anything that you feel i do apologize though because spoilers suck and yeah all right i've got that off my chest that's the most irritating <laughs> reason that i dropped a manga <sighs> in this video anyway let's move on to the more mature so this isn't a shonen anymore i think i believe it's a seinen and uh, it has to do with zombies so you know i was i was interested i love me a zombie series and it is i am a hero and i picked this one up i started reading it first of all it's my dark horse i have issues with them they're inconsistent printing they stop printing things and it just goes OP and it's really hard to find anything. And that was probably one of the reasons when I got kind of like to a point where I wasn't really feeling it. I just decided to drop it because it's not worth like, I knew if I didn't jump on it and collect it as soon as they were coming out that I was going to miss the chance. I do think they have republished it since I dropped it, but for a while it was out of print. Like it was really hard to find volumes and stuff. Um, and I didn't know if they would publish it again because they have a shaky track record on that stuff so uh yeah needless to say i'm not sure what its status is right now right but it just it wasn't keeping my interest so i just yeah i decided to put it on the chopping block and i got rid of it i unhauled the volumes i had i think i had like one to four ish or like one two five and six i don't know i had like four volumes of these and uh, yeah, like I said, I love zombies and this takes place in a zombie apocalypse. So we have our main protagonist. I forget his name. I'm gonna put it right here with his picture. And he is a gun enthusiast. So guns are really hard to get in Japan, unlike, sadly, in America. And then, so of course, when the zombie apocalypse happens, it's like, oh, well, <laughs> who's gonna stop me from using my guns now, right? Um, I don't know if that's partially one of the reasons that kind of, like, rubbed me the wrong way, but I just really didn't like his character. 
I didn't like our main protagonist. And if I don't like the main protagonist or find him interesting, it's just like there's nothing to latch on to for me, then I just, yeah. Not saying it doesn't happen where I find the story captivating enough to keep going without really getting invested in the characters, but that was one of the reasons that I dropped this one, which is why I'm pointing it out. Um, he was a gun enthusiast, which I just don't like. I think it's the culture that I live in. Like, okay, you can be a gun enthusiast. Like, I get it. It doesn't mean you're enthusiastic about actually pew pewing people. You know what I mean? But because I live in America where gun violence and mass endings, I don't know if I can say that. I don't know what I can say on here. I'm just trying to be careful. So I'm sorry about censoring myself. But, um, yeah, since that's such an unfortunate large part of where I live and is sadly too common of an occurrence because of lax laws and other things I'm not going to get into because I'm going to get all the angry people on my butt about it, but that's my personal feelings. I live in an area that is very rural. There's a lot of hunters. I hear a lot of gunshots. I don't like it. I just don't. Like, personally, it bugs me. Long rant aside, his character was a gun enthusiast and that just rubs me the wrong way. I don't like it. Sorry. Um, he also was just, I don't know, he had an off-putting personality to me. Um, and yeah, you could make an argument for it. He's an interesting character. He's, he's definitely a little bit morally great himself and, and not all of it is bad. Like some of it was, you know, enough for me to keep reading for, I think I read two of the omnibuses i'm not sure and i didn't hate it so that's why i bought more um but it just like the more it sat on my shelf the more i thought there's other zombie apocalypse stories that i just enjoy more like personally i would recommend zom 100 for a funner zombie thrill or the walking cat which i talked about in my last monday's video talking about some spooky horror one shots and that one follows a cat in a zombie apocalypse it's great. If you want to hear more about it, check my video out. But yeah, I, I recommend those. There's some others that I've enjoyed, but I just threw the first two I could think of. And uh, yeah, I I don't, I like zombies, but I didn't like our protagonist. So that is the reason I dropped entry number two. <laughs> uh, of course, if you, you know, have read these, if you you know are interested in them if you like them i'm not saying that either of these series were bad reads they had compelling and interesting storylines to them um things that happened that i was interested in for at least a time however <laughs> the next entry i'm not gonna be too kind about it like i don't want to like completely shade it because like i say i always say Anything with entertainment, reading, movies, whatever form of entertainment is all subjective. What you enjoy is subjective. If you enjoy these, great. I am happy for you. I just find them lame. I don't know. Is that the, I think that's the word I want to go to, lame. Yeah, I, I do not like them. And it's hard to talk about them because they're an amalgamation and I'm lumping them all together and that is the doubt judge secret and the newest one to be released dead company i think those are all the ones that are out but there might be more but a they're all very repetitive feeling to me that's why i lumped them together like there was one that i read i don't remember which one I didn't care for it. Someone else told me, oh, well, that one wasn't that great. Read this one. So I started that one and I was like, I, I don't care for this. I think if you enjoy Saw, the Saw franchise, this might be one for you. Like, I like horror, but I don't like things to be like, I don't know. Like, there's a difference to me personally between like a battle royale type fight for your life story which i like and then these stories which i mean from the outside looking in just at their premises which is usually a group of people wind up on the shit end of a stick of a psycho killer and uh, they have to figure out using you know logic and stuff like 
how to hopefully live through their captivity. Which masked person is the is the killer? I, I, uh, they're all kind of saying me though. Dead company. I did start. I did try. <laughs> I tried to start that one because it was on Hoopla, and I thought, well. Maybe this will change my mind. I couldn't even get into it. And it's like, I don't know what it is about it. It just feels so predictable. I, I, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. And the art, it's just nothing. It's very basic, very boring to me. So I can't get drawn, drawn in by the art. And the art style just doesn't appeal to me, which I don't say much. Like, I am almost down for any art style. But this one, mm. And uh, yeah, I just, I just, I read one all the way through. Like I said, I think it was Doubt. I'm not 100% anymore. And I did start another one. And then, like I said, I did start Dead Company. Dead Company's premise, you know, it sounds interesting. Like, oh, like he's working for this company that makes uh, horror games, like based on what he went through, kind of, which uh, already is weird, like that he was on board for that. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, the psychological aspect of it to me just feels weak. It feels overdone, like repetitive, like we're using the same kind of psychological horror and it just don't work for me. But I never was a Saw girly. I did watch one of them at like a high school uh, movie night thing. I wanted to throw up. I just, I, uh, live action horror movies also just do not appeal to me but i you'd think it would work for me because a manga using those concepts of like trying to get out of rooms trying to get out of situations um uh, mind games and stuff those are things i love like usually like I, I i would but when it got down to who it actually was and the final confrontations and stuff it always felt like a wasted a waste of my time i'm like oh this is where we end up I, I, even though I'm not, I don't care. Like, it just didn't feel satisfying. And I need horror to give me that satisfaction in the end. I've, I've dropped or I've been disappointed at the end of a lot of horror because ugh, I just go, really? Well, that's, that's where you went with it. I don't know. And, and I, I don't, you know, take it lightly. Like, I think mystery writers, horror writers that have mysteries in them and thrill, thrilling things happening, I think it's got to be goddamn hard to actually craft a really good, interesting mystery, keeps you on your toes, not predictable. I mean, it's a lot to ask for, right? So I, I'm not saying like, oh, if you like it, you're lame. I'm just saying I found it lame. I didn't really love the direction that the horror went into after they you know do one twist or two twists i'm i'm like eh this isn't really fun for me but uh yeah i mean not saying they aren't somebody's cup of tea out there and if they're your cup of tea let me know as always i love reading your comments below and that'll do it this was a nice quick and uh, easy video i mean except for the rants about death note but other than that i hope you had a good time <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of them. Let me know if you have any darker drop series of your own to moan and complain and rant about because this is a safe space. We're all allowed to dislike something here, okay? So yeah, let me know. And as always, I would be so appreciated if you like this video, if you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure, look down and make sure that little subscribe button is clicked in and you have notifications on so you never miss a Monday with me. <laughs> Came out so much more sing songy than I meant. I have no idea what next week's video will be, so it'll be a surprise for us all. <laughs> surprise I need to figure out. <laughs> but I hope to see you there. Until next time, bye!